Hello, everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how an organization's strategic financial outcomes are influenced by logistics decisions. After this lecture, you should be able to number one understand how logistics decisions can influence an organization's strategic financial outcomes. Number two. Go over the basic financial terminology used by logistics managers. Number three, explain organizational financial reporting requirements affected by logistic activities. Number four, employ the strategic profit model to highlight the financial impact of logistic activities. Number five. Consider the value of utilizing the balanced scorecard approach to examining the performance of logistics system. Number six, compare some of the common performance measures for logistics activities. We start with the logistics strategy. We already know logistics strategy is very important to the success of a business organizations. But right now, but how we can guarantee logistic strategy is successful? So we have to connect the logistic strategy to financial performance. We want to use financial performance measures to evaluate logistic strategies. And now, this is another question: What kind of strategy could be successful? How to develop successful logistic strategies? In order to develop successful logistic strategies, logistic managers must find ways. To the guarantee, they have logistic capabilities to create values. But how we can know logistic capabilities can provide a value? We should use financial performance measures to evaluate logistic capabilities, and then we should make sure this alignment between corporate strategy and the logistic strategy. In other words, logistic strategy must support corporate strategy. But how we can know this alignment between the corporate strategy and the logistic strategy? We should use financial terms, financial performance measures to evaluate this alignment, and then we can guarantee the success of logistic strategies. Previously, we asked the question of what kind of strategies could be developed by business organizations. There are three generic strategies available. The first one is the cost leadership strategy. Actually, this is about a low cost strategy. In the operation management, there are many examples available. The typical example is Walmart. Walmart has a slogan: "Save the money, live the better." Walmart is using a low cost strategy very successfully. In the logistic industry. UPS is using this strategy. UPS is very successful. But on the other hand, low cost doesn't mean bad quality. Good quality and low costs are two conflicting objectives. So we have to make the trade-off decisions between the low cost and the good quality. So what we want to achieve the low cost strategy with a given level of quality. The second strategy is differentiation strategy. The differentiation strategy is regarding the products or services that offer unique attributes. The unique attributes make the products or services different from competitors' offerings. There are many examples in the operation management regarding differentiation strategies. Apple and Sony are good examples. Apple and Sony are using differentiation strategies because they focus on. Innovation in the logistics industry, FedEx is a very good example. FedEx focuses on differentiation strategies by offering responsiveness because they make a promise to the customers they will deliver the products to the customers on time without any delay. So this is about the differentiation strategies. Also, we can see the FedEx is very, very successful right now because while FedEx provides unique products, responsiveness to make FedEx differentiate from other logistic providers. The last strategy is the focus strategy. When the companies 
They face a narrowly defined market. They basically they want to use either a cost leadership strategy or differentiation strategy. But I can tell you, in most cases, the company uses the combination of the cost leadership and the differentiation strategy.、Uh, I can give you example. For example, UPS. UPS is also using new technologies to save the the cost and make it faster delivery right now. So they use the combination of the different existing strategies. But right now we are talking about a narrowly defined market, so just why we have focus strategies, either a, a cost leadership or differentiation strategies. We just talk about the three basic strategies: cost leadership strategy, differentiation strategy, and the focus strategy. Three of the basic strategies belong to the operational strategies. However, operational strategies belong to the functional level strategies. But now you may have a question: What are functional level strategies? I can tell you, all organizations have three basic functions: marketing, finance, and operations. Accordingly, there are three functional level strategies: marketing strategy, finance strategy, and operational strategies. Functional level strategies must support corporate strategies. So we can see here, operational strategies include manufacturing, procurement, and the logistic strategies. Here, basically, we want to see where logistics strategies are. Why we need the logistic strategies?